here's something you're rarely going to come across and that of course would be a concrete stairway with wood risers and of course this stairway also has wood stringers on the side to act as a retaining wall or to help and keep some of the plants or some of the debris from entering into the stairway. However, in order for that to happen, someone is going to need to actually trim back some of the plants that grow into the stairway. This is called, of course, maintenance. And along with the plants, you're also going to need to remove some of the weeds that are going to be growing in between the wood and the concrete, like the one you're looking at here. Another problem you're going to run into, and that, of course, will apply for the most part only if the stairway is located in the shade and that will be moss. Um, moss is usually green or um, uh, and of course it loves cement and of course it loves wood even more so if you have a stairway that's going to be shaded or located in the shade for most of the day then um, you could end up with problems like these so along with the maintenance and the debris that's going to get caught in between the wood and the concrete. You could also end up having problems with moss or wood that will stay moist for long periods of, day, of the day, eventually rotting. However, in reality, this isn't going to be our biggest problem. The moss or the wood rotting um, or even the maintenance and the debris. It's going to be the separation between the wood and the concrete and of course in this case here you can actually see the lower board is actually starting to rot and this is going to create a problem for anyone who's planning on using the stairway so if you could just imagine someone walking up the stairway in a pair of high heels or a pair of shoes that are difficult to walk on or even let's just say someone's walking down the stairway and they apply a little too much pressure to these wood risers and break one of them right off and this is going to be highly probable as they start to deteriorate more then of course you could have someone stumble and fall now here's something you need to consider if you just went ahead and removed all of the wood risers um, the stair steps would still be the same length so if you think about it if you remove the riser on the front um, but you left the one on the back you would have a shorter step but if you removed all of these wood risers especially the ones that are starting to deteriorate then um, you would have the same size step anyway and I think this is one of the biggest problems when it finally does come time to make any types of repairs to the stairway should you replace the wood or should you just remove the wood and uh, have a concrete stairway and in a case like this I would suggest that you remove the wood and again it's just my personal opinion and the reason for that is that the wood eventually is going to deteriorate and you're going to need to make the repairs again in the future. So just something to think about if you're planning on building a stairway like this or if you have a stairway um, like this already, then it wouldn't be a bad idea to think about some of the suggestions I made in this video. So again, to reiterate everything, wood like this in the wrong area, wrong locations, could be a big problem in the shade. It's going to be a bigger problem. Uh, eventually, wood does rot. Concrete seems to last a little longer, right? So if you're going to design a stairway like this, you think, hey, I've seen this at my friend's house. I'm going to go ahead and make one too. Then, um, And you've just watched this video. You should know better. So no excuses. If uh, you build a stairway like this in the, in the future, you end up with something like this. You know better by now. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, no more lecturing. If you guys like the videos, um, feel free to give me a thumbs up. They are always greatly appreciated.